Infanta. Welcome to my video. In this video, we are going to learn about electric current, conductor and insulator. Before entering to the session, we can see some interesting questions. Now, let us answer my questions. The first question is, what are the man-made source of light? I think this question is familiar to you all. Why? Because in our day-to-day -day life, we are using the man-made source of light. For example, torch light, tube light and bulb. These are the man-made source of light. Then the second question is how does the light bulb is glowing? We know when we switch on the light, the light bulb is glowing. So with the help of the electricity, the light bulb is glowing. So the answer is electricity. Then what is electricity? The flow of electrical power or charge that is known as the electricity. Now I am going to explain about electric current. Take two metallic sphere. One is having more negative charge that means excess of electrons and the another one is having a more positive charge that means deficiency of electrons. When we connect them both with the help of the metallic wire, excess of electrons from the negatively charged sphere will start flowing towards the positively charged sphere. Then this flow continues till the number of electrons in both the sphere is equal to that. Hence, the positively charged sphere is said to be a higher potential and the negatively charged sphere is said to be a lower potential. Hence, electrons flow from lower potential to the higher potential that is known as the electric current. Then, consider a wire. Inside a wire, there are so much of electrons are there. Before connecting the battery, the electrons are in the stable position. After connecting the battery, the electrons move from lower potential to the higher potential. Before discovery of the electrons, the scientists have believed the flow of positive charge that is known as the electric current. But nowadays that is wrong because the moment of or the flow of electrons from lower potential to the higher potential that is known as the electric current. So what is electric current? The flow of electrons from lower potential to the higher potential that is known as the electric current. Then the electric current is measured with the help of the ammeter. While we touching a wire, do we get shock? No. Why? Because the wire is surrounded by the plastic. The plastic, it does not conduct electricity. So we don't get shock. Now we touch the copper wire. What will be happened? We get shocked. Why? Because it conduct the electricity. Now we can see what is conductor and what is insulator. Then first one is conductor. If any material that allows the electric current that is known as a conductor. For example copper, aluminium and steel. Then second one is insulator. If any material that does not allow the electric current that it is insulator. For example wood and rubber. I hope you have the better understanding about the concept electric current. Thank you. We can see in the next video.